Hey everyone, welcome back. Before we get into the shade this evening, I want to remind everybody this video is sponsored in part by Hendrix Classics and Company. And there'll be a giveaway from Hendrix a little later on. I'll get into details of that in a moment. But for now, the gear for the shave. I will be using, make sure I get this right here, Hotel Cecil or Hotel Cecil, depending on how you want to pronounce it, with the cool holographic label. I got this last year for the first 50 orders or whatever, 200, whatever it was to get the holographic label. And it's a beautiful scent. It is based off of the classic Burma Shave from back in the day. Funny thing is with Burma Shave is it was a brushless shave product, at least initially before it was re-released. There's an article on that on the Razor Company's website. Um, you can go look at that if you want. Anyway, the scent profile on Hotel Cecil, Cecil, is talc, cardamom, vanilla, tonka bean, cephalus, sandalwood, cedar, nutmeg, black pepper, oak moss, and oak wood. So it's a very pleasant scent, very reminiscent of like Old Spice because it kind of came out in the same era as Old Spice. Now the brush this evening is this create beautiful craving shaving brush. I get that right here. Craving shaving DNA brush. I haven't met with Charles yet to give him this brush back. I've had this for far too long. Sorry, Charles. We've, you know, we've tried a couple times, just unsuccessfully to set something up. This has a massive 28 millimeter nut. That if I was shaving my full face, would be perfect. But as it is, a 28 mil nut, plenty of backbone. Decent flow through. Uh, this is one that I think he was testing from a supplier or someone provided him to test i can't remember it's been about a while ago but it has a lot of backbone but nice knot i love this handle i love the handle i'm gonna get me one of these with dna it's really cool the bowl this evening is the copper captain's choice bowl you can see here it lathers with up beautifully a little bit of bubbles but i put in a lot of water uh, the razor this evening is going to be the Kai Captain Standard, and I don't recall if this is a... What blade is this? This is a Feather Pro Super. You can tell it's Feather because of this little notch right there, and then the little notch out of the back means it is a Professional Super. Just that little notch in the front that I showed you first, that means it's a Feather Pro. And the Pro Super has it much out of the back. Now, as I mentioned in my last video, for those that watched that one, I'm announcing how to enter the giveaway. The first giveaway. For a couple of, or depends on how I want to do this, items from Hendricks Classics and Company. So I'm going to do a couple different giveaways, obviously. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is, because there's multiple items, all provided by P over Hendricks Classics, I'm going to do, you get a choice between item, item one or number two. And they'll put a comment. That comment for this giveaway is, thank you, Pete. You'll see that right here. Just thank you, Pete. Put it in the comments below. That you'll be entered in or a drawing. Now up for giveaway in this one. And as I mentioned, this will be winner's choice. You can either select item number one, two brushes. I have two brushes here, brand new, never been used, the black candle and the white handle. As I mentioned, the black candle this is what it looks like it's been used a little bit. A little bit stiffer backbone. Still beautifully perfect for face shaves, for face lathering and bowl lathering. We're looking for bowl lathering because it does have a little additional bit of backbone. And then the white handle or off-white cream eggshell, whatever handle. This is very similar to that of a Plasoft, Plasson notch. Just a little bit more backbone than that, but not much. Uh, both are fantastic brushes. I use them both frequently. Mm -hmm. 
So that is item number one. Item B, see if you're paying attention there. Item number two is this puck of white star shave soap. This is in the barber shop. That is three ounces of soap in that puck with the barber shop scent. Now the HCNC barber shop, if you smelled fresh cut fade from three, four, five, and there's another one that's very similar to it, I can't remember this, but they're all very similar in scent. Same scent profile. So it's a classic barber shop. Still smells really good. I know a lot of people love that 345 scent. So, item one, two brushes, brand new. The black handle, the white handle. The white handle is not listed on Pete's website, by the way. Or you can choose item number two, the Barbershop White Star 3 ounce puck of soap. Does not come in a container, it comes exactly as is, just wrapped in foil. The foil is not the most durable because it's foil. So you can pick. Now for that, next Tuesday's video, so you have one week, I will do the drawing Tuesday during the day, or Monday during the day. So you have until Monday. So it is currently October 25th. You'll be seeing this on October 26th. So currently it's October 26th. You have until, yeah, that finger in. Look at my calendar here, where the heck's the calendar? There we go. You have until November 1st at noon mountain time to comment, thank you, Pete in this video. After noon mountain on November 1st, 2021, I'll be doing the drawing. And announcing that the video recorded that night. So it'll be a little air November 2nd. Yeah, November 2nd. Cause that next weekend I'm gonna go to town. Leaving that Wednesday on a red eye to go to Alabama again to horse pens 40. If you watched a video of mine from two years ago, which most of you probably haven't, because most of my, th I think most people that watch my videos now weren't around two years ago for this one, but I went to a slingshot tournament in that horse pens 40 in Alabama. And I'm going back again this year. So I'm going there on Wednesday, November 3rd, catching a red eye. I'll be there Thursday to help set up. The tournament's Friday, Saturday, partly Sunday. Help clean up a little bit and fly home Monday. And then work on Tuesday. All right, cross screen. Now I haven't talked a whole lot about this soap. Initially, this soap, Hotel Cecil, was a seasonal release last year. Now, if you got in on this last year, you know the whole story behind it. There's a little cool book bet with it. Um, there was, probably can't see it, but there's a, a keychain and a straw for getting in the way with a key bottle opener. Whole awesome story that went along with it. That was very Halloween appropriate. The scent, in my opinion, and also many others, was not super Halloween themed. That was kind of theme last year, it seems like. Most of the scents that were released for Halloween were not like Halloween type scents. But anyway, quite a few of us petitioned Douglas and PAA to leave this Hotel Cecil as a regular offering. 
not make it seasonal because the scent is so good. Especially those that like that Old Spice type vibe. I'm not saying it's Old Spice, it's an Old type, old Spice type vibe. It is an homage to the scent of Burma Shave, which as I mentioned earlier was a brushless product. But, finally enough people said, Douglas, this needs to be a, just a full offering year round. I mean, the scent is phenomenal. Just need to leave this as a, a standard offering, not just a seasonal. Because the scent is, it's not really a seasonal scent. So Douglas and Fran, blooping on my face, listened to their customers like any good artisan does, blooping on my hand. And, you know, they put up a poll in, I think, one of the groups, maybe the unofficial PAA fan club group or whatever. And basically asked if Hotel Cecil, Cecil, easy there, Cecil, should be a permanent offering, meaning they'll be available as long as it sells. If it should be a regular lineup offering or keep it as a seasonal. Overwhelmingly, keep it as a regular offering. One. So, they keep it as a regular offering. And I'm glad they do because it does smell fantastic. It, it's one that I don't use very often because I have so many soaps, like many of us do. And sometimes it just kind of gets stuck in the back of my, underneath my sink. And I'm like, you know what, I haven't used for a while, I haven't seen this for a bit. Where is it? And I dig it out. Like it with a couple of soaps. But I'm glad it is. That gives you a regular offering because it does smell phenomenal. I really enjoy it. I like this a bit more than Old Spice. Yes, I said it. I like this better than, like, especially the new Old Spice. I haven't sold the classic Schulten Old Spice. But, I have a tub of the new Old Spice. And this just smells, to me, it smells better. I like it a lot. It's a very nice, classic, clean, not clean, classic spicy vibe to it. It's just gorgeous. I just know this is a really good scent. The Kai with the Captain or the uh, Feather Pro Super Blade is doing really well. Soap is nice and super hydrated. As you see, it's, it was blooping on my face while lathering. Going back to the giveaway, kind of on a, on a squirrel. Shipping. Because I'm not shipping. Alcohol splashes. It could be anywhere. You could be in England, David Card. John June. You could be in Sweden, Mati, Frank, Ewan. You could be in the United States, too many to mention. As long as you have an address where the post office can find you, I'll ship it. 
Now I will say, if it is lost in transit, sorry. Or as my friends in Germany would say, Pech gehabt, meaning tough luck. I will not be responsible for lost packages. Get that out of the way now. Huh? Finger just got in my ear. Even every once in a while, even I get myself. I don't know. Can't tell. I may be lucky. Oh well, what you go on? These pro super pro supers are just ridiculously sharp blades. Beautiful blades. So, no blood. Nice. Thought I got myself there for a minute. If I did, there'd be a lot of blood gushing out because the ears have, at least the ear lobes have a good amount of blood cells in there. That's good there. Okay, we'll do a little bit. Clean up here. Weird way of applying the lather, I know. This is going a little longer than I anticipated. Sorry, 17 minute mark. Probably a little long winded tonight. Beautiful. All right, so I'm going to clean up off camera. And I'll come back with a recap. All right, off camera, did a cold water rinse. Uh, clean the brush, you can get a better look at that. Clean the bowl and everything else. Finished off with a little bit of witch hazel and the matching splash. Splash does not have the cool little holographic label. Better look at that brush here is that awesome DNA handle from Charles over at Craving Shaving. Now again, for the giveaway, two options. Brushes or three ounces of a barbershop white star soap. Now, as I mentioned, put in thank you Pete, hashtag thank you Pete in right here. And there'll be a drawing on the day that I mentioned earlier. Anyway, I've run on long enough. This video's gone on long enough. Thank you to the old subscribers, new subscribers, people who are not subscribed and still watch. Thank you all, and I'll catch y'all next time.